Greetings everyone. So today we're going to talk about this new Echo Show third generation. I finally got it. It's sitting right in front of me. So today we're going to unbox it and see what's in the box. Probably do a little setup and then I'll do future videos where I go into more details on this product. All right. So make sure you stay tuned to the channel, but let's unbox this thing and see what's on the inside right now. Okay, so the box is pretty large, you know, it's bigger as box I ever got. But let's get in here by just close, tearing off the little tab that holds the cover together. And I'm going to pull the stuff out so you can see what's on the inside. Let's move it to the side a little bit. So on top, we got a smaller box with a little cover that comes with the power supply. And that's all that's in this little thing that's on top now if you're looking on the inside this is the echo show right here this is the face and this is the part that you know the base I should say this is the base and here is the screen right here so that's what it looks like inside the box I'm gonna slide this out face down it has a protective thing over the face so I'm not damaging the face by leaving it face down so there it is right there that's your echo show right there it's smaller than what it seems like on the picture so this is the base this is where all the necessary business is done you know all the software all the hardware all that stuff is inside of here and that's it that's all that's in the box you got echo show paperwork power supply everything else in the box is empty so we can put that to the side now when you flip this thing around like this manually it makes this clicking sound that clicking sound you're hearing that means this hit the farthest point that it can go and it can go back around the other way until you hear it again you hear that click that click means it's going all the way to the right and all the way to the left so it has a good range of traversing okay so now let's remove the protective screen cover that came in the box so you can see what the screen looked like so there it is now I decided to go with the black because this one is going in the kitchen and I know how dirty sometimes the kitchen might get you know just from the cooking environment grease and all that stuff so that's the reason why I went with the black I probably get a couple more of these and put them in other areas to replace the Echo Show 10 that I already have but I will see when that time comes but this is going to be the test first to see how well this one performs to make me decide if I was going to get another one or not. Like I said, this is what it looks like. I mean, it's very small. It looks like one of those regular tablet screen. It looks more like an iPad style screen. So the shape of it, you know, the size of it, I should say. So it's more square versus rectangular. So if you flip it over, there's a little plastic thing on the bottom right here. You just peel off. So this rubber piece is going to make it easy to stay in place on the surface that you put it on because you know it's rubber like back here is where the power supply is so this is where i'm going to plug the power cord so that's the only thing that this base have it has no headphone jack or anything like that to plug in any external speakers so everything is going to be powered by the internal speakers that's built into this device okay so now let's plug this thing in and see what it looks like as you can see it's starting up with the amazon logo okay so i went to all the stuff that it was asked me for that i don't want to share on camera and now i'm at the wallpaper you know the wallpaper you can choose all kind of different wallpaper i'm a nature guy so i choose nature and then we'll click continue now the device is doing some updates usually when you get new devices it doesn't matter if it's a phone tv or whatever the case may be it's always some type of updates you have to run so i'm going to let it run through the updating up this device so I'm going to let it do the updates and then we're going to come back when it's finished. Okay, so one side note, this update will take some time. So you just have to be patient. It's going to also depend on your internet speed. So the faster it can download, the faster the update is going to be. If your internet is a little bit slower, then it's going to take a longer time for it to download the updates and install them. Okay, so one thing I noticed that initially when I did the initial setup where it asked you for your address and your name and all that stuff after the updates it's asking you to do the exact same thing all over again so be aware during the setup 
after you enter your stuff initially, it's going to ask you to do it again right after the major updates. So let me choose the same thing I chose before, which is nature. Continue. It's asking me if I want to use the home monitoring where I can use my Echo Show to actually view my home while I'm away by using the app. I'm probably going to do that because I want to see how that works. But for now, we're going to say not now. So now it's asking me where do I want to put this Echo Show 10? Do I want to put it on an island? against the wall or in a corner now i probably could come back to this and do it again so because i'm not really setting it up at this location that i have it right now and i'm just doing this video in my studio i'm going to skip this for now now it wants me to preview to see how far the device can rotate so let's preview it As you can see, by looking at the device, the way it rotates during the preview, it almost rotated 360 degrees. As a matter of fact, basically that's what it did because it went all the way around towards the left and it went all the way back around to the right. And as you can see, it went from facing me right now or facing the camera all the way back. So it does have a full range of motion. So that's why I understand why they say you can put it on an island because it doesn't matter where you're in the room, the screen is going to rotate towards your direction. So that's perfect. That's awesome. I thought it had a limited motion based on what I was reading on the specs that it could only go to like, for instance, all the way to the left and maybe all the way to the right. But this thing is actually doing a 360 turnaround. And now it wants me to set my idle position. And I'm pretty sure I can readjust this later on. See, if I hit the slider, it'll show me exactly what the rotating position is going to be so this will be the idle position that it will be in if i'm not using the device click next now i'm all set click continue now this is something that i made a video about about the sidewalk and this is something you can opt out of if you don't want to be involved with it check out that video i did explaining the sidewalk for me, I'm opting out, but you can choose to opt in if you want to. Audible, I'm not going to do that. No thanks. This device is ready. And now it's all done. Now, it happens to know where I'm at because I'm standing a little bit off camera. So as you can see, it's pointing towards me. But let's switch side and see if it's going to follow me to the other side based on my voice. So as you can see, I made the work word and it rotate towards me. So as you can see, the device is working perfectly. It doesn't matter what side of the room I'm located. If I say the wake word, it automatically rotate to face me in that direction. And it automatically knows. So if it's all the way to the left and I'm all the way to the right, it's gonna swing itself around just to face me so I can see exactly what's on the screen. Now this is gonna work perfectly if you're on a video chat. So if you're on a video chat with somebody else, the screen is gonna automatically rotate and follow you around without you actually doing anything. That's gonna be automatic. The only time it's going to turn around or face you is when you actually say the wake word otherwise. Now, just like the Echo Show 8 and the Echo Show 5, the camera on this device does have that slider switch. So you just have to slide it to the right when you're facing the device and it's going to turn off the camera. Now, about the middle of the screen, you got the volume up and volume down button. You got a couple of microphones and one on the back. And then you got a mute button if you don't want it to listen to any commands. 
So that's basically the device itself right there. One thing I do notice is they didn't color match the power cables. So the cable that's coming from the device itself is white. The device is black. The white cable will go perfect with the white version of this device if you decide to go with that one. Now the screen does tilt up. So if you want the screen to tilt up a little bit, you can manually tilt it. And it does tilt down a little bit, but not much. But the tilt and action coming up is a whole lot. So you can tell by looking at the side profile right there that the tilt action is pretty good. But that's a manual operation. It's not going to do it. The only thing it does automatically is rotate. This doesn't do the tilting. But I can tell you right now for the future, this is going to be the standard for the Echo Show 10. I don't think they're going to make a smaller version like an Echo Show 8 with this type of design. All right, so I'm going to end it there with this video. There will be a deeper dive because I'm going to go through this device. So I'm going to go to the settings and do some videos on that. I'm also going to go to the features and any features that I noticed that's different from the previous generation. I'm going to highlight those in a separate video also. So if you want to see all that detailed information on this device, make sure you subscribe to the channel. All right. So thank you for taking the time for watching this video. Have a good one and I'll see you next time.